up over the waters of Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. This is the Army vessel Worthy, formerly listened for submarines in the North Pacific and North Atlantic during the Cold War. And she was built in 1988, and the Army acquired her in 1995. Kwajalein is where she's home ported in the Marshall Islands. The ship is also known as the KMRSS, Kwajalein Mobile Range Safety System a self-contained, ship-based range safety system designed to support launch operations at remote sites. The Worthy was chosen because we, as a sea-based asset, have the ability to go out and stay in the middle of nowhere for days on end. We bring a, a different mix to the, to the game in order to allow us to do that. With the, a launch vehicle, you just don't ever know, if, you know, you plan when it's gonna launch, but you don't know exactly if it's gonna go that day or the next day. And, just gives the program a lot more flexibility to have a ship out there as opposed to an airplane flying around. The Worthy is equipped with multiple stabilized tracking antenna systems that receive telemetry signals and process them in real time. We have the, the, the B dome or the backup and then we have the A dome which is our primary. We will use our telemetry dishes to acquire the launch vehicle as it comes up over the ocean. We'll be parked out in the middle of nowhere in the broad open ocean. And as it comes up over the horizon for us, we'll use the two 3.1 meter dishes to acquire that launch vehicle as it goes over. And we will continue to track it all the way through the sky until it drops down below our horizon. So it's, it's from acquisition of signal to loss of signal, we'll track that the entire time. And then we'll feed all of that data real time through our C-band satellite connection back to Vandenberg Air Force Base so that they have a sense also of where the vehicle is at any point in time as it goes across the sky, they can track it. This area will be the heart of the SBSS mission. It's our telemetry area. We receive, we also transmit it out, and our operators will collect the data, record it. it it's very exciting, and this mission is new to the ship. So it's very exciting for all of us to be a part of this. The chef is the heart and soul of it. I'm Matt Trea, and this is where the magic happens. Matt, Treya, we wouldn't go if we didn't have Matt. We usually stock about a month's worth of provisions. And that's the heart and soul of the ship. I dig it, you know, it's a dream job. Just the camaraderie with the crew, you know, when you're together, working, playing, living together, and just, you know, you make some lifelong friends. You've heard the old adage, the Army runs on its stomach. Well, the Worthy runs on its stomach, and, and Matt's our key there. Everybody has to get along on a ship, and a small ship like this, uh, you live close together, and so you, you better be able to uh, get along with people. This is, uh, this is my office right here. <laughs> we have two mates and a captain, myself. This is a, the Hawaiian Islands, and this red track is the uh, track that we have placed on here. This is where we'll be cruising to. This circle right there. That's where we will be at from Vandenberg and in the flight path to uh, record the data. The KMRSS Worthy docked here at Pearl Harbor is one of two ships involved in acquiring the tracking and telemetry data for the SBSS mission. Let's head over now to Fort Island to meet the team of the Pacific Collector. Our main function aboard the Pacific Collector is to test uh, systems to provide to the warfighter so that we don't have another repeat of what we see here from the, the USS Utah. As objects are getting smaller and more numerous uh, in the space environment, uh, we need a better capability of tracking those objects for both the safety of flight and for uh, location of those objects. The Worthy is the first vessel to track the rocket before it reaches the Pacific Collector. While the Worthy tracks and sends data to the collector, the crew waits for the rocket to break horizon. And once we, we have actual line of sight, our, our antennas using pointing data from the Worthy, we lock on and we auto track it throughout its flight until we get loss of signal. Side A in stow position. 
the pre-mission tests are important so that uh, not only the the operators get the experience to support. This is a case where we have one shot to collect the data. There can be no mistakes, so practice is very important. For example, here, this is our antenna controller unit. This is what we actually send the commands on the antenna to point it where we need it to point. We can, we can track satellites, we can track stars, we can track a rocket launch. We do these, uh, all these checks uh, just to help verify that the system is 100% ready to track. For the SBSS mission, the marine vessel Pacific Collector tracks the booster with two antennas. These antennas are part of a whole system that the acronym is TTS. It's a transportable telemetry system. It's transportable because this is in actuality a large flatbed semi-trailer. This thing morphs just like a transformer, folds up, the wings come in, we hoist it off of here, put it on the deck, with the one is always a backup to the other. They, they can slave to each other, but these are two fully independent systems. They don't have to be next to each other. So uh, tomorrow they could say, well, we, we need one of these antennas in say, Southern California somewhere, for example. They could just take the one system and still leave one here on board the ship and still work. Don't you think the relationship that you all have has a obviously big influence on the success of the mission, wouldn't you say? Oh, I believe that's 100% true. Um, you know, we, we, again, we, you know, we rib each other. We have fun on the ship. It helps pass the time. It's camaraderie, you know, it's very important. And that's the whole goal here, to keep this moving forward and keep, keep everything 100%, get the data, get it done, go home. And meet the man who navigates the crew out to sea and back home. Well, this is a captain's chair. And when we're navigating or operating here, there will be a team of two other people on board. it will be the uh, second or third mate, navigational officers, and then we'll have a helmsman lookout on board. On our chart here, presently we're in the Hawaiian Islands. We're going to be going down to our, our test support position down here. This one we're going to be going south of the equator, pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so this will be a long trip for us. How does it make you feel to be supporting a mission like this? Oh, very proud. Very proud to you know, assist any the way that we can. It takes a special person to be able to do a job like this. Being out in the middle of the ocean, and I'm perfectly relaxed out there. Over the course of the next several weeks and months, ground controllers will raise the satellite to its final orbit, turn on the spacecraft's instruments, and calibrate them before the operational SPSS mission begins. Aloha from Hawaii to uh, the SPSS crew, the entire launch team, uh, space vehicles, go effect. Aloha. And that'll do it from the Pacific Collector here in Oahu. We'll take it back to the studios.